It's been a while, but here we are. So today we're gonna take this and we're gonna do this to it. So what I want to show you today is how to change the background color while keeping like any kind of shadows or textures of the actual background to make it look much more realistic than just having someone pasted on a solid color background. So I got a photo I took of myself here back on December 19th. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the background color on this. I'm going to start, I'm in Lightroom Classic, I'm going to hit Control E and that is going to bump this right over to Photoshop. Now that we're in Photoshop, I have highlighted the quick selection tool up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the select and mask. That's gonna take me to another screen. I've got my red overlay here. What I want to do is click on my quick selection tool and I wanna go to select subject. Now Photoshop does a pretty good job of cutting me out. What I wanna do is zoom in and see if there's anything I need to refine here. And you can see there's some weirdness down here around my hand. Most of the other edges actually look pretty good. So I have a little bit of cleaning up here to do. And let's go ahead and cue the fast forward here. Everything else there looks pretty good. So now what I want to do is I want to go down and click output to new layer with layer mask. All right, so here we are back on our main screen and you can see that I am actually missing from this photo. That's okay. All we have to do is hit control I, make sure that your actual uh, mask is highlighted. Hit control I and that's going to invert the selection, bring me back and get rid of the background. So now I'm going to click on the background. We're going to hit control J and that is going to make me a background copy. I'm going to turn on that background copy and with that background copy highlighted, I want to add a solid color adjustment. There's our solid color right now. It's black. And from in here, you can pick pretty much any color you want. This is kind of a vintage looking photo. So I want to go in here and I want to actually select like a vintage looking color. I was thinking some kind of peach or orange that actually looks really good right there. I really do like that. So let's go ahead and stick with this here. I'm going to hit okay. The color of the backdrop that you're using matters. So if I'm trying to take a original photo with a dark brown backdrop and I'm trying to turn that color like a pastel pink, that's gonna be very muddy because of the brown backdrop. Now this will make more sense as we get going, but I wanted to mention that here. It's still salvageable and maybe I'll do that in another video, but uh, I'm doing this with a white backdrop so we're not going to encounter the problems that we would run into if we used a darker backdrop. Now, in order to bring in the shadows and any textures and a, a few elements from the original background and make this look natural, what we're gonna have to do is change the blend mode. So change that blend mode to multiply and you can see that added in all the actual shadows. So now it looks like I'm on an actual background as opposed to just being pasted in. And there's more we can actually do to this as well. I'm going to finish up over in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and hit control S. That's going to save this photo back to Lightroom. You'll see it pop in here. And from this point, we can go in and we can make any additional changes we want. So if I pop over to basic, I can add a little bit of dehaze to this photo. It's going to darken up the background just a tad, 
a little bit of clarity, you know, and I'm not, not liking the way that clarity looks. Darken it up just a tad, pull my highlights back, bring my whites back. Now I'm gonna go down here to effects, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of vignette to that photo. And there we have it. Quick background color change while leaving the shadows. So there it is, pretty straightforward. Um, if you like this kind of content, please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please turn on the notification bell. I try to make videos like this as often as I can, and uh, I know I've been kind of lagging lately, and I'm uh, going to be ramping that back up. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.